Hello, uh, my name is Q.A. Shakur II. I'm a Racine County Board Supervisor serving the 6th District. Q, what does Black History Month mean to you? Well, what it means to me is a time to reflect of living a balanced life. A, keeping the faith. B, taking care of yourself in a non-selfish manner. C, taking care of family and community. And I want to just go back to taking care of yourself in a non-selfish manner. If you are going to take care of yourself and do things in the community, it's hard for you to do that if you don't take care of yourself. So I, I don't want to get, get, rid, get rid of the selfishness. It's about taking care of yourself and family and community. Okay, so can I share with you uh, an African-American role model who impacted the, my life and or personal life and how? Uh, just like to say about uh, in regards to Mr. Lloyd Jackson, he was elected to the Racine City Council in uh, 1968 through 1976. He's the first African-American principal in Racine Unified School District. Uh, he, he assisted uh, students uh, with their education and personal concerns. In fact, he was my principal at Washington Park High School in the 70s among other things. And also he was a nice dresser. Okay, question is, do I know of any famous or noteworthy uh, African-Americans who came from Racine County? I have a couple, and I'd like to start with uh, Corrine Reed Owens. She's Racine's Rosa Parks of Civil Rights, a pioneer for all people. Uh, in fact, the transit center in Racine is named after her because she was a mover and shaker. Also, I have what comes to mind would be Julian Thomas. Uh, he was in the business field. He was into education. In fact, uh, he was a Gateway Technical College provost and an NAACP leader. Uh, the Garfield School was renamed in his honor. Also, he assisted in the scouting program at Wayman AME Church uh, in Racine here. Uh, he was a trustee uh, or steward, I don't recall which one. Uh, Will reproduce the first African American Eagle Scout in Racine County in 38 years. His name was uh, his name is Demarcus Bell. So we appreciate all that Mr. Thomas did uh, helping our scouting situation out. Uh, in fact, we had 116 youth between the ages of seven and 18, and from that, of course, again we have a uh, our first Eagle Scout in 38 years. Less than two percent um, accomplished that goal. So. We were quite proud of him, and we're quite proud of uh, Mr. Thomas and Wayman Amy Church for their help and assistance in that endeavor. We were working to get the, the youth off the street, and that was one of the things that came from one of the West 6th Street Association neighborhood watch meetings. And uh, we had uh, we were working with 40 some odd uh, groups, individuals that uh, we took that neighborhood back. To make a long story short, in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, this 32 block area had uh, the highest crime per capita in the state of Wisconsin. And one of the things that came out of the Neighborhood Watch meetings, which was the West 6th Street Association, I was fortunate enough to chair that, was that uh, we got a lot of youth out in the community that didn't have anything to do. So we started a Boy Scout troop. So again, we thank uh, Julian Thomas for assisting us and giving us our needs uh, for Wayman Church and making sure that we had our things and what we needed, of course, and uh, we appreciate him for that. He was a, a hell of a gentleman, and we appreciate his leadership and blessings to him, and also blessing to Ms. Cree Reed Owens, too, of course. Okay, how has the African-American community changed during my time in Racine? Well, i just like to say, um, over the years, there, ha there has been some good family situations. However, there has been a great downturn of the family unit across all groups. This needs to be addressed. We have to turn this thing around in a timely manner because um, in order to enhance and improve the quality of life for all, we have to have a strong family base.